Hello, in this section we will talk about the ideal gas equation of state. Uh, this equation predicts the pressure volume temperature relationship of a gas quite accurately. So this equation states that the pressure P so P into volume equal N R bar T. So N is the number of moles and mainly is in as unit in kilomole or pound mole in the English system. R bar is called the universal gas constant uh, it is equal to 8.314 kilojoule per kilomole Kelvin and is equal also to 1000 1545.37 feet pound force per pound mole degree ranking so this in the SI system and this in the English units system so we all know that the number of moles is related to the mass and the molar mass of the gas by the following uh, equation so m so the number of moles is equal to the mass of over the molar mass so m is the mass of the of the gas in kilograms or in pounds pound mass and capital letter M is the molar mass and it is in kilogram per kilomole or in English units in pound mass per pound mole so the ideal gas equation PV equal N R bar T so as you rem remember the bar above uh, above any uh, property or here above R states that it is calculated per per kilomole per one mole or one kilomole so, so as you see R bar is 8.314 kilojoule per kilomole okay the ideal gas equation can be written in several forms we can write PV equal instead of N we can write M over M R bar T and if we take the mass to the other side to the left side of the equation it will be equal to R bar over molar mass into T so V total volume over mass is the specific volume and R bar over molar, molar mass is, is R the gas constant so here V is the specific volume in meter cube per kilogram and R is called the gas constant the gas constant R bar is the universal gas constant and is equal to a constant and here R is the gas constant and it depends on the type of the gas used and 
since it is equal to R bar over molar mass of the gas. So for different gases, we have different, uh, different values of R. So we can write it uh, PV equal RT also. And we can also write it as PV equal to M R bar over M T and so PV equal M R T so if we use PV equal M R T if we use the mass the R here is not the universal gas constant it is instead the gas constant R bar over mass if we use PV equal N R T R should be equal to the to R bar okay so this equation uh, predicts uh, accurately uh, the the real gases in found in practical life but uh, under some conditions so it was observed experimentally so it was observed experimentally that the ideal gas law is valid is valid for gases of low densities such as uh, we can say air nitrogen oxygen helium etc so However, for dense gases, for dense gases such as uh, for dense gases such as water vapor, for example, uh, we should use the property tables. The property tables. Uh, what? What we mean by low density, low density is a relative. So a, low, a gas that has a low density, it means that it has, uh, it has uh, low pressure and high temperature. You can uh, you can say since P V equal R T, and if we take the specific volume to the right hand side, it will be P equal one over specific volume into excuse me into R T, and one over specific volume is mainly the density. So we can write P equal rho R T, and rho mainly is the pressure over R times the temperature. So low density means low pressure, high temperature. So the ideal gas model give uh, good accuracy, sometimes with negligible uh, error, for low density gases. However, for dense gases, this should not be used, such in the case of water vapor, since the water vapor the water vapor in the uh, in, for example in the power plants power plants will be present under high pressure conditions so high pressure conditions so for example in this case uh, uh, the Water vapor, water vapor should not be treated uh, 
as an ideal gas.